Two College Station ISD bands are making history and are taking their talents to San Antonio to face the Lone Star State's best. Jordan Adams has your story. The A&M Consolidated Tiger Band, Color Guard, and the College Station Cougar Band and Guard have advanced to the 5A UIL State Marching Competition. Yeah, it's been amazing. I, I just constantly am getting either messages or phone calls or, you know, texts, something on social media. Just congratulations, you know, emails through the campus. Uh, it, it, it's really just a, it feels like a Cinderella story in a way. You know? It all started with more than 250 bands going to the regional band contests. Then that turned down to 13 bands who qualified for the UIL Area Marching Contest. The College Station ISD bands are just two of 33 competing for the Class A5 crown in the Alamo City. Some of these students have never been out of this town. Uh, they're going to experience things they've never seen, done before, things that 20, 30, 40 years from now they'll be able to go, I was there, I did that, I accomplished that. No one can take that away from them. So uh, that's really cool. This is the first time in district history that any band has advanced to the state level. The state marching contest will take place in the Alamo Dome. AM Consolidated and College Station will both perform in the preliminary round on Monday, November 1st. Great, Junior, great. When they walk out the first time and they see the dome, they see the lights, they see just how big everything is, it's going to take their breath away. Um, and they've got about we told them you're going to have about 45 seconds to enjoy that. And then at that point, game on, game face on, and go do your show, do your job. Both bands will leave for San Antonio from A&M Consolidated High School on Sunday. The district has planned a send-off parade around the school beginning at 1 p.m. and is inviting the entire community to come out and line the parade route. We've, we've had kind of mini send-offs like last week at area. And it, it was so neat to hear this, just the kids on the bus that I was on just talk about how special that was to them. Reporting in College Station, Jordan Adams, KAGS News. And of course, the entire KAGS crew wishes all the students the best of luck, and we will continue to update you on their progress throughout the competition.